Hobby ho, everyone. Welcome to another riveting issue of Exploring Our Packages with a Chipmunk. This is Interactive Tutorials. So today's packages will be General Interactive and Swirl. On the General Interactive side, we have Learn R, Learn Stats, MLR Shiny 2, and Stat 2. On the other side, we have Swirl with Swirl, unsurprisingly, and Swirlify. So let's get down to brass tacks here. Here are the summaries. So with Learn R, it's ability to create interactive tutorials using R Markdown. Learn Stats is itself an interactive education environment for statistics. MLR Shiny 2 is an interactive application for specifically multiple linear regression. On a similar vein, STAT 2 is an interactive document, but this is now for basic statistical analysis, and it has both R Markdown and Shiny packages. Swirl is kind of like Learn R, where it's an interactive learning environment, and then Swirlify lets you build those Swirl environments. So writing and sharing interactive courses. All right, with that, let's take a look at our projects at a glance. So first of all, here is Learn R. So it has both a reference manual, so let's take a look at that quick. So again, this is for creating interactive tutorials. So there's, uh, looks like there's some built-in tutorials, which is good. And then different, looks like different functions to sort of build questions, work on tutorials, initialize them, etc. So not too much there that we want, but let's, let's look at the vignette. So publishing learning tutorials on Shiny Apps. Okay, so this is nice if you want to deploy your tutorial on the shinyapps.io. So it looks like there's ways to set up, different costs, etc. All right, well, that was nice. Let's turn now to Learn Stats. So this is Interaction Educational Environment. So let's take a look at the PDF. Looks like there's things from p-values to confidence intervals to stability and time issues, so a lot of different things to do here. And <coughs> looks like there's, yeah, about 10 or so different things. So this first one here is a prob, so it's a script. So this is going to happen in R itself. Same thing with here, different scripts. But then if you want to go down, like Stats 250, this is an interactive education environment. Then down here, that's F distribution. This is a Shiny app, so this will pop out outside of R using like a, a web browser. So other Shiny apps, so different different formats, but those are that. Let's take a look at M L R Shiny Two. There's again multiple linear regression. So let's look at the reference manual, and all it is here is this Shiny interface for the M L R Two. So that's all you run in R, and then it'll pop up elsewhere. Not too much to that. Let's look at Stat Two. Again, this is for Basic statistical analysis, both R Markdown and Shiny packages. So let's take a look at this. And again, it looks like it's just an uh, interface that you launch from here and it takes it from there. So those are pretty straightforward. Package Swirl. We got this here, Interactive Learning Environment. And it looks like there's a lot of different things here. Because it kind of looks like you can install, you know, reset, do different things. I think that the main thing was going to be this Swirl here. I think that's going to start the, the main portion of just doing the active learning environment. Finally, Swirlify. Take a look at the reference manual. Okay, and again, this is for building source swirl courses. Looks like there's a lot of just building uh, material here. Okay, that should be good there. Flesh off of being riveted by those PDFs. I'll walk you through a couple examples in R itself. Alrighty, make sure you're installing, if you haven't already installed your packages. Now you're going to need to actually build R packages, you're going to need this thing called R tools. So you can go to library, get the package library, install R, and then you also need to do this function install R tools. That's already been done for mine, and I just call the libraries. So now, let's take a look at learner. So let's display all the learner functions. We can do ls list package learner. That's kind of useful. It shows us, so like our PDF shows us all of what's available. Let's uh, take a look at some things you can build in when you're doing your um, interactive tutorials. You can have random praise and random encouragement. So let's just do this outside, random praise and encouragement. Oh, it shows up down here. Random praise. Correct. Magnificent. So I'll give that to you, dear listener. Thanks for following along. Correct. Magnificent. Random encouragement. If you're feeling this video is hard, don't give up. Give it one more try. All right. Now let's uh, look at all the learner tutorials that are already built in. We can use function available tutorials. It looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's uh, let's run a basic example. Let's let's try hello here. So we're going to run tutorial hello from learn R. And what's going to happen here? Okay. It's going to take us to Shiny. And it's a very basic code here and if you run the code you get two okay cool now to sort of stop this you can just go up here and we're back let's try another little more involved one it's gonna be slidey learn r it's gonna go listen slightly demo okay oh something's not working here slightly demo There we go. Okay, so this is kind of cool here. Time series, you can slide, kind of zoom in, things like that. Great. And you can change code if you want. But those look fine, so we're going to close those out. And we're going to stop. Okay, let's move on to learn stats. 
So if we want to display all the learn stats functions, we'll just do list, different ones. Let's try different script tutorials. Let's try probability. Okay, so you say this is sort of a text-based adventure. Are you ready for some nice graphics? You step type a response press enter. So let's just do let's just do one and upper bound. So let's do ten. And hey, look, it gives us a distribution between zero, one, and then our upper bound. Let's uh so we don't want to save this. Let's try this one more time. Let's try one, but let's do like uh two. No, two. Oh, here we go, here's our upper bound. So that's kinda cool. Alright, and I think quit. Okay, we quit. Let's try a little more meaty ones. Okay, so we're gonna simulate data points. Let's do whoops. Gotta do it down here. Let's do five hundred. Uh, let's do stable plots. That sounds good. Oh, cool. So, time stable, uh, time series plots. We wouldn't want to save that, but we could if we want to. Quit. Cool. Let's now try a shiny version. So those are script tutorials. Let's try a shiny one. Oh, and it pops up right here. That's nice. And, okay, you can look at different normal dentices. You can shift, shift the mean around. You can shift the standard deviation, either tight or loose, as it were. And you can look at two at the same time. That's very cool. Okay, I'm going to close that. Neato. Now let's look at ML... R shiny 2 let's just run it because there's only one package we show that here if we run oh doggy okay by dr bullar great great so it looks like you can load your own data in here but it has data set up and all sorts of things for multiple regression correlogram and you can set up your model and you can train the data so kind of cool here i'm not going to dive too much in here but you can obviously move, do some things in here and, and get multiple linear regression out stat 2 it's the only one here so we'll run it And this is, again, I don't think you saw that, by our wonderful friend here, Dr. Bolar. So this is his as well. And this is a statistics primer. You can do descriptive histogram, pie charts, all sorts of different things. And actually, you can choose these sort of basic built-in data sets. If you want to look at the iris data set, you can do a histogram. You can look at the different variables. So this is pretty cool if you want to just play around with intro statistics. So great, great stuff here. All right, let's make down here and look at Swirl. So Swirl has a bunch of things, but we're just going to run, run Swirl itself. Oh, so there's a Swirl here. We're going to be down here, so I'm going to go up. So we can see it. So should I call you uh, Lord Dragon? So that's how we should call ourselves. Hello, housekeeping items. Okay, so go through. Yeah, let's continue for, for a second here. Okay, different steps of how to do things. So we'll keep moving on. Uh, let, let's look at exploratory data analysis. Okay, and let's just do the first one. Principles and analytic graphs. Okay, keep moving on. This lesson, different different fundamental concepts. So warm up, which would be not a good use. Okay, so now a quiz. Let's just finish this and then we'll, we'll step out of here. Uh, not, a, not a good use of analytic graphing. Uh, horse betting. Great. Okay. So let's see. I think we go like quit. No. Okay. Let's we'll keep moving on here. Q. Ah, uh, zero. Okay. No. Let's see. Let's go up to. Let's let's remind ourselves what it told us to do. I think you can just exit. Maybe escape. There we go. We left swirl. Okay. So pretty cool. You can sort of text or choose your own text adventure statistics adventure so that's pretty cool let's look at if we want to make our own functions like that so a lot of things here so let's run so let's run it so we're gonna do this file. we're gonna create a lesson one called under my course and what that's i can do is i'm gonna show up a shiny app and then you can actually start and set up questions different things like this so if we maybe want to set a message first you know something like hello travelers get ye flask you know and you can add the question and you can also add you know multiple choice different answers yeah, whatever. So, pretty cool here. And you can demo lesson, you can save lesson, but we're going to close for now. So, great. Those were our examples here. Now, for the real nail buddy moment. The scoring and classification. So, this is what I give Learn R. I give it three. You know, okay. Not amazing. But it's primary tutorial builder if you want to build them. Learn Sats 2, also a three. You know, middle of the road. It's it's some nice... Uh, it's script and shiny tutorials. And LR shiny 2. It's a little lower because it's just singular uh, multiple learning regression. So, not a lot of function outside of that. And it's a shiny tutorial. Sats 2 is a shiny tutorials. And I give it three because it's got a lot more going on with it. Swirl, I give it a four because it's a really cool script tutorial I think we'll put together. And then Swirlify is going to be a tutorial builder. And maybe a two because, again, you know, only if you really want to build tutorials will this be useful for you. Okay, so now we'll wrap up our time here with a little fun with a package called Brick R. Okay, library Brick R. So this is going to be, be able to send you make three-dimensional bricks like Lego bricks. So here's the first one to do. So making a one-by-four Lego brick. This is from their example uh, PDF. So we'll build this. Ba, ba, ba. It should show up. Yeah. Hmm. Let's try this again. Oh, here we go. Hey, it's our brick. That's pretty cool. Okay, we'll clear that. Make another brick. And set the three options. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking with Legos. 
That's pretty cool. Okay, we'll clear that and then change a different take it. Change it to a different shape. And what do we have? Oh, we got the cylinders. Old classic. So if you want to build three-dimensional brick figures, here we go. Pretty fun. Alright, with that, we will close down here. Thanks for joining me. Next time on issue five, we have a very uninspiring title called More Learning, which will look at packages D Her, Kern Lab, Po, Gro, Musi, Danny Each. Should have just spelled that out. And then Zelig. Have a great day.